today's uh, workout, just a reminder, you'll need a chair, you'll need maybe a bolster, a blanket, and then um, this shirt, I'm going to give one away at the end of the week, a fat yogi tank, so be sure to leave a comment down below, tell me how you like the video, and um, maybe your favorite pose in the video. And then if you hear any noises during this video, I have a lot of construction going on, so I appreciate your patience with that. <laughs> All right, guys, let's get to it. So I just thought we would do a different little bit of a setup, different setup for today. So let's start with a chair, feet on your lap, feet on your lap, hands on your lap, feet on the ground, take your hands behind your head, and let's do some traditional crunches. Engage your core before you even start, and then crunch down. One, two, three, four, five, we'll do ten, five, four, three, two, and one. Hold at the top, and let's pulse for ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Whew, that's awesome. Let's move our chair and find the ground, and we can do our crunches on the ground. So uh, let's find our back, bend our knees. I'll do sideways. Here we go. Bend our knees. Engage your core before you even come up. Hands behind your head. Tuck your chin slightly, or maybe even have it go towards the sky. And come up. One, two, three. Three. Exhale on the coming up. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then hold on the ten, and let's do pulls for ten. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six. Five, four, three, two, and one. <laughs> you can roll over. Oh, do an upward facing. And then move your hips back. Okay. Let's strengthen these hips. And we'll be finding goddess. Today, so goddess um, essentially is a wide squat. So bring your hips out um, in your chair. Feet are pointed same direction as your knees, and you can sit here on the edge of your chair, engage your core, and take your hands to your hips, and maybe just lean forward with it and press into your feet, almost coming up. So one two, and we'll do ten, three, four, five, press into it, six, almost come up, but don't, seven, eight, if you're able to come up, go ahead, nine, and ten, oh, 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 oh. it works it, it works it, okay, let's find God squat, without a chair, and if you'd like to stay with the chair, stay with it. So, widen that stance, finding whatever squat position works for you, and come down. One, two, three, engage your core. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Straighten your legs, maybe he'll toe them in. Feeling good. <laughs> so the, the lengthening pose we'll be doing today is pyramid. So grab a block if you've got it. Take your hip and you can just bend this back knee and straighten this front knee and use the chair for leverage. Extend it as straight as you can. Extend this back foot as straight as you can. Really feeling your, your hips. Feeling the stretch in your hips. And let's breathe here for a few seconds. The main goal here is that right hip being in line with the left. And what I mean by that is both of them are facing forward. 
coming down onto your block and breathe. Come up and let's switch sides. You can shake it out and move over to the, the right hip. So allowing this left hip to kind of drape over the side of the chair. Let me turn it sideways so you can see it better. So allowing, this is pyramid, and if you'd like to just bend this leg and extend just to find that same stretch. So chest lifted, legs straight, you're on the chair, finding your pyramid stretch. This feels so good on my hips. Left foot face, left hip facing forward, and breathe here. Push up, and just come out of it. Oh. Move your chair, let's find the pyramid on the ground. So maybe even grab two blocks for this one. And I'm using the long edge of the block. So starting with your right leg forward, left leg back. Placement of the feet are important. It's almost like warrior one, but maybe a little bit in. So with, a, with your right, with that front leg being straight. So being a larger person, this is kind of how pyramid is supposed to be where like the heel of the front foot intersects with the back. I like to take my foot off to the side a little. Look how much better my hips are aligned here. So micro bend in that front leg, lean forward, maybe kind of tilt your hips so that your hips are working to be open here. I have my full palm on both of the blocks, really allowing your hips to open, just kind of moving that left hip forward. Maybe you bend your elbows a little. Just find, find that space that feels good. Relax your neck and breathe here. Bend your knee to come out of it and bring your left foot forward and move your right foot back. Holy Moses, my right leg is feeling good. Now let's come up and just think about that alignment. So a lot of people might even have hips like this, work for this. Ooh, don't fall. <laughs> just tell myself not to fall. So that back foot kind of at that 45, Front foot is straight, micro bend. Bring your hands down to your blocks. Relax your, your neck. And then again, that right hip just moving forward. Really grip the mat with your toes. Look at your toes while you do it. Grip and then relax. Grip and relax. Having a focus like that can make this pose a little bit more comfortable because you're not focused so much on, you know, pushing through any type of lengthening. And just sitting here and just staring at your toes can be very relaxing. Scrunch and lift, scrunch and lift. Now bend your leg, 